So I'm Isla French. Five years ago now, me and my husband George, we bought a little row water farm. Both from farming backgrounds had wanted to um, come back and be on a farm and raise our kids on a farm. So when uh, Little Raw Water came on the market just over five years ago now, um, it seemed like the ideal place. We came here in November 2015 and um, since then we've been establishing our own herd of belted Galloway cattle and red deer. Um, we've also added into the mix some ostriches, emus and um, some Dutch spotted sheep. Our passion and what we're really into is um, grass, a grass-fed system. Um, we're really about producing meat from our farm that has been um, produced naturally as possible and reared on grass. We chose the belted Galloways because they are a native breed that do well on grass alone and um, find them to be really easy to look after cattle and sort of get on with it and they're, they're easy calving and they basically fit what we want them to do, doing a very natural job of rearing their calves on grass. Uh, same with the deer, they're obviously sort of native and very good at thriving on grass alone and they're very easy to be left alone to calve and everything's very naturally done as much as possible. We do our best to maintain the farm in the best way we can for nature as well. We're very environmental and nature minded and we, we care about keeping the land in good heart and um, we care about what we do here and what impact that has. So we're always learning and trying to do things better. We're always striving to improve what we do. There's always improvements we can make and we know that we'll continue to do that as we go. In 2018, I think it was, at the end of the year, we opened our farm shop, which was from our first produce from the farm. It took us a long time to get to that point because our animals are all grass fed and slow maturing. Um, I think we were, and our, our animals, our beasts go away over 30 months of age. So the end of, I think it was the end of November 2018 was the first time we opened the shop and had our first produce. And everything we've produced since has gone through our shop. Our shop is open on a weekend and a couple of evenings during the week. And we try to be pretty flexible with customers who are passing as well if they let us know. Um, we have venison, beef and lamb in the shop, plus our hen eggs from the children's chickens. We've got ostrich eggs and in season we've got emu eggs as well. Um, and our shop's very much about our own sort of farm produce and keeping it all our local stuff where we know where it's come from. So. My memories of the boat festival are probably, as a keen runner, uh, my memories are mostly about actually doing the 10k race. <laughs> so I always used to go before the farm at least um, and run the 10k race and it finished in the festival where we would then go and have a look around and have the good food and um, drinks after. Yeah, we were looking forward to going to the boat festival this year. Sadly, obviously that didn't go ahead, but we're looking forward to going to the boat festival in the future um, and meeting all the local people who support our business throughout the year. So yeah, definitely looking forward to that.